Good day, folks. I'd like to share with you something that, believe it or not, was done such a long time ago. It was an article I made on Instructables. I totally forgot all about it, and I was going through my old posts, and I noticed this, and this was before I got really serious in the free energy stuff. And I guess at the time, I didn't think it was very uh, applicable, and I moved on and forgot about it. But what it is, folks, it's an Instructable on how to make your own negative resistor. So I guess the key word here is negative resistance, right? And in my scenario, I use an LED and I convert it, I, a hack essentially, by uh, overheating it a little bit, by giving it a little bit too much voltage just until it changes colors to build a copper oxide layer. And once you've got that, you have a negative resistor as a diode essentially. And I demonstrate the negative resistance in the article and explain how you can put a loop antenna around this diode and you use a RF walkie-talkie of a few watts. The LED lights up when you get close to it. Then it takes a moment because of the DC bias. It kicks in the negative resistance. It's like a tunnel diode. And then you can go far away up to two, three feet before the light turns off because it's doing a self-amplification effect very similar to how the neon operates at a certain trigger and then it works at much lower voltages. So I was showing in the article how to um, reproduce that but perhaps in today's world and what we're doing there's an application to this. I haven't really thought of it much but again for transparency I should share this with you because it might very well be applicable to some of the things we do. So I'll give you the link to the original um, Instructables. It still works and clicks and loads. So all the information is on there for you folks. So again, thanks for watching.